September 8 This day, 152 years since Yellowstone Volcano is named Old Faithful. Former U.S. General Henry Washburn was leading an expedition exploring what would become Yellowstone National Park. As they ventured through the wilderness his team happened across hundreds of geysers. One in particular caught their eye, hurling boiling water more than 100 feet into the sky almost every hour. Because of its regularity, they named it Old Faithful, and it is perhaps the most famous geyser in the world. Yellowstone, in Wyoming, sits above a huge volcanic caldera. Its magma chamber is 50 miles long and 12 miles wide. It is the magma that gives rise to the geysers. Surface water makes its way down to the molten rocks where it is ejected as a boiling jet through the Earth's surface. The world's biggest geyser, Steamboat, is also at Yellowstone and sprays jets more than 300 feet into the air. It is unpredictable, with intervals between eruptions ranging from 3 days to 50 years. It was entirely dormant between 1911 and 1961. Old Faithful, by contrast, can be relied upon to erupt 20 times a day, drawing flocks of visitors to its viewing platform. The spectacle was not always held in such high regard, however. Shortly after its discovery it was used to launder clothes. Eruptions last up to five minutes. The shorter blasts expel around 3,700 gallons, while more vigorous explosions discharge 8,400. The temperature of the water at the vent itself is close to 96 C. Yellowstone's beauty conceals its destructive power. The caldera it sits on is referred to as a supervolcano. Those whose eruptions are so large they can cause earth-shattering events, including ice ages. Up to 2,000 earthquakes occur in the park every year, although most are minor. There were huge eruptions 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago and 640,000 years ago. But volcanologists see no evidence another such cataclysmic eruption will occur at Yellowstone in the foreseeable future. Question. What famous lights were turned on for the first time on this day in 1879? Last week I asked. Which American singer and pianist, born on September 11, 1967, made his acting debut in the film Memphis Belle? Harry Connick Jr.